Hello and welcome to Twin Ring Motegi once again. I uh, decided I'm just going to run this a whole bunch of times this week and record all of them just with some more relaxed commentary as I uh, am continuing to try to improve my audio. I've done some things to try to help with the noise suppression all clear push now we haven't got that data okay and all that we stuff <clears throat> and i think it's sounding pretty good i'm um, just gonna get the mix down a little bit but so far so good and uh well i'm gonna be doing a bunch of these races anyway so i figure like hey i'll record them and if it's a particularly good race i'll throw it up onto the channel uh this is my third attempt so far first one made it to the channel second one that was an alright race. I finished fourth, and I think I could have had a chance to win, but I hit the wall real hard <laughs> about halfway green flag, through. Green flag. I messed up the steering, okay. I lost a handful flag. of spots, and I had to fight back just to get back to fourth. So that wasn't great. <laughs> but, uh, definitely could have been worse. And, uh, it was a fun race, but, uh, still, still just figuring out the audio a little bit there. And uh, it wasn't quite where I wanted it. Mix was a little bit, uh, my voice was a little bit too quiet compared to the engine noises and such. So I uh, wasn't quite happy with there. <clears throat> one more lap. That's how we'll do another one. Like I said, commentary is just going to be a little bit more relaxed. Just going to enjoy myself. I was going to do these races anyway because this track is amazing. <laughs> Uh, you know, hopefully, I want to try to get a win before this week is over. I think I can do it. I've been pretty good with the tire saving. The last just, race uh, I was, uh, what was it, 80, 77. So 80 on the right front, 77 on the right just, uh, rear. So apparently, I can push a little harder <laughs> on uh, entry, or rather, I should maybe pull on. nicer on the throttle. Flag. I don't know. <clears throat> that lap was going to be pretty good, but I messed up three and four. Oh, P3, that's okay. We're right there. I haven't quite gotten the hot laps down yet. My all-time best is a 168, which wouldn't have been pull. <coughs> Excuse me. So, uh, don't have that quite figured out. I know some people shift here. I think my car's too loose already to begin with to be doing shifting. I think for people that... Oh, nice lap, David. <laughs> um, I think for people that are getting too tight, I can see that helping, but... Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm still loose by the end of the run. I mean, I got that A77 last time. And uh, that was after I was... You know, when it gets close to the end of the race, you push a little harder, because you don't need the tires anymore. <laughs> That's kind of was the plan, so... See me moving some stuff out of the way. So it looks like we're going to be about P4 so far. Dang, 36.9. David's got this place figured out. And uh, David and James, they are both viewers of... I think Gavin, uh, maybe Nick as well. I don't know, they're part of the grander scheme community. <laughs> so, cool to see them around. <clears throat> Hopefully we'll see them on Saturday as well, as uh, Gavin's going to do a hosted race. In the Xfinity cars here, which should be a lot of fun. So I'm looking forward to that. Another reason to uh, get out here and do some more races, so I can uh, get some more experience. That's one thing I wanted to do. I wanted to... Put my brake bias back further in the car. 57 is where I want it. I'm waiting on the 10, waiting on the 13. 13 never seems to want to hit the button to go. Uh, they were in the last race, and we're the last person we waited on. So I, I guess we're just not going to go until they decide we go. <laughs> or, you know, the game decides we go. But uh, that's whatever. They're probably not in a good mood because that's the end of the session. P four. Like wrecked out in the first lap, first quarter. 
of the last race because someone got loose and took out like five guys. All right, P4, not too bad. Goal is not to get run over while we're saving tires. <laughs> it's very easy for that to happen because the way I want to save tires is by taking it much easier into turn one than you need to because that's where all your tire, your right front gets completely shredded off is when you dive into turn one. You can get away with it <clears throat> and then it can be fast for some hot laps. But not very, very long. And we're going to make it 35 laps here, and we're guaranteed green. So, take it easier. I like to keep it low on the track. And it's have a good day, everyone. So far. Good race, everyone. Let's see how it goes. We have some good guys in here, some fast guys. That I know are always near the top and like the Arca standings and all that. So, some good competition. Have to watch out. I am the number one. Unfortunately, I'm about 4,500 I rating right now, which is easily the highest it's ever been. It just keeps going up. I'm just waiting for it to pop. <laughs> and then I'm, I end up plummeting somewhere. I just, I don't know. I don't know. I don't even really win that often. It's, I'm no usually like finishing during the drive just top five, and that's right. enough to get you like ten, ten I rating at a time. It seems like. Follow car number twelve. I don't think I could. I could answer that question. I do. By Mr. Allen up there. Because I think it depends on how you drive. Like I said, I think. Uh, if you overdrive your car a little bit and end up tight, then I think the third gear might help. But if you're able to save the tires a little bit better, then I don't think you need to. I think it depends on how you drive, is the is the wishy-washy answer. Probably not a very good answer. But that's how I've kind of felt about it. <clears throat> I can I feel pretty good staying in uh, staying in fourth gear. Interesting, the 12 is a uh, C license. They got some good speed. Maybe they just uh, haven't really bothered going any higher. Buying uh, higher class cars and stuff. On uh, 19, you're like already disappearing. Get ready, going green. Started second the last race, I had to look to my left. It's nice to not have to do that this time. You make the car off. Quick jump. Glad I wasn't sleeping. Green, green, green. Inside. Clear. Thank you. On the outside. On the six. I'll save us the trouble of having to try to pass him later. So that's good. Forget to move that brake by his back. I'm gonna do that. You know, we gonna get run over. Can't drive in that hard on lap one. Because my right rear was more worn than my right front last time, I'm gonna be a little bit more patient throttle on exit and see how that works out for me. <clears throat> Whoa, loose moment. That's well. Looked like they had a lot of wheel in it and almost snapped on them. The leader was just done at 37.6. The guy behind has just done at 37.5. P3. Keep it smooth, get the laps done.
and uh, maybe not hit the wall this time. I know you didn't see that recording. I keep referencing my last race, but... Just time. Trying not to hit the wall this time. Ooh, I mean, ooh, it looked like he almost got him on the outside, got the nose on him there. He's got the run, he's gonna go for it. The next card, the leader. It's loose out there. Back up just in case. Gave it a little bit of a break. Have. Not gonna run on Outside. The next car the leader. Leaves the bottom open for us though, which is nice. Clear outside. Didn't quite have the nose, but he left it open, so I went ahead and okay, you're took in it. Two. He doesn't uh, begrudge me for that. The door was just so inviting. He made it look so inviting. He said, welcome. This is the door. You can come in if you'd like. And I said, okay. Alright, so, we'll see what this 12's got. If he's gonna... Run his tires off, or no? I don't feel like I'm uh, burning my tires off. I'm not too concerned by the fact that we are pulling away a little bit. Feel okay with that. So they are coming back. Um, point is, <laughs> I think I'm doing okay. But I've been wrong before. Boy, have I. Sand green at the end of the lap is always good, though. Always go with that. Your last lap time was at 37.5. Bit of a jolt from a bump there. <laughs> got pretty low on the track, and I got hit a bump I'd never felt before. It was a huge one, but it was enough to make me feel a little off-center for a second. I hope this will fall off because uh, if he doesn't, <laughs> you have problems. Problems when it comes to getting the win, though. Not too much wrong with running second, though. Don't hit that wall, you goober. The six is coming up on us. Me too. Just, uh, it's a balancing act. Just try not to let the car get too loose, but kind of. On the low line. That was a 
pretty good lap it felt like, but the, I feel like he got closer behind us. He might be the one to beat here if the uh, leader actually does fall off. But it's still pretty early, so we no uh, no way to know for sure exactly what to expect. I did not keep that as low as I wanted. Overdrove that. Go ahead, Grady. I'll give it to you at one. Thank you. Seems like I'm better in one and two, but maybe he's uh, saving more than I am. That's why he comes and kills us in three and four. Almost literally kills us there. He made me overdrive it. I thought he was going to hit me. That last lap was at 37.9. Dang, that like killed his momentum. I appreciate him for not running into me, but it killed his momentum. I can't tell if he's overdriving three and four, or if my tires are more worn now, and he's just got more grip in three and four. I guess I need to not be concerned with what he's doing anyway. What I should be doing is focusing on myself. Leader there. Still hard to say whether uh, we're going to end up reeling him in or not, though. He just got the wall. He just got the wall. keep overdriving 3 and 4. I haven't done this in either of my races so far, but I'm overdriving 3 and 4 now. Okay, Colton. That's good consistency. Keep it up. Didn't seem to slow him down too much, though, if he did indeed hit that wall for real. That's what I need to be doing there in three and four. <clears throat> Sorry, my voice, my voice is really scratchy right now. Because I keep recording races. <laughs> Regardless, impressive showing by the 12, for sure. Bet he's uh, hoping they add this to more schedules in the future, this track. <laughs> I know I do. Great track. Halfway home, we've got plenty of fuel. Six really fell off behind us all of a sudden. Not sure what happened there. Can't believe I'm over driving three and four like this. I 
we need to do better. You've just done a 38.1. One and two is such a fun corner. It's like three and four at Darlington, but you have like ten times as much room to work with. It's quite fun. High speed corner. Your last lap time was at 38.0. Quite catching the 12. We're holding even though. Just keep getting too high up the track in 3 and 4. I think I'm doing a not so good a job at saving tires this time. I got overconfident after last time. Burning the rears off better. And now I'm getting the false idea that. I can push harder and get away with it. Still about a second up. Leader is. And I haven't hit the wall this time. That's great. I guess I should say yet. There's still time. I think this six is gonna get me. I think he's done a better job at being smooth and saving tires. That was a 38.1. That's good consistency, keep it up. Get him really good in one and two, but catches me so much in three and four. Maybe I have to shift? If I'm bogging down in 3 and 4, maybe I have to shift. Maybe I try it next time. Pick up in front is now. I have the bad feeling he's going to catch me. So I don't try something, so I might as well try something. Instead of just rolling over and let him get past me. As I was up right now, I don't see this lasting. Wasn't much different. Great job, game to go. It's about the same speed it looked like. A lot of traffic coming up. You would think it wouldn't be a problem with how wide the track is, but we'll see. That actually helped a little bit. We're going to do that some more. Definitely hurt my right front more this time, though, compared to previous runs.
that car as being a problem. Mama mia, man. What are you doing? <laughs> See the sense of humor about it. Yeah, I don't think I'm coming back here again, Jesus Christ. Okay, some people don't like twin ring. That's great. Okay, Colton. Cup time's pretty consistent. He's just, uh, <laughs> he's just holding on up there. Any little bit I've gained has been very minimal. I feel like that, number nine. I like the shifting, though. I think I've been entering too shallow into turn three. You've just done a 38.2. a second, but we're not really gaining all that fast. Five. Five to go. I'm trying. I'm really trying. It'll hurt to finish second again. It's kind of looking that way, though. I'm telling you, I finish. I don't win that much. It's usually second place, to be honest. Way to go, Dan. I'm pushing too hard. <laughs> Heard way to go, Dan. That was the lab car that was a problem before. Wonder if they caused a wreck or something. Twelve got loose out of the corner, I think. Busy on what I was doing, but I think I saw it. Ugh, loose. I just, he's not falling off. We're on for a podium here. He's not falling off like I need him to. Second. To go. Keep it together, we'll be on the podium. Good consistency. Keep it coming. Hmm. You're, you're reeling them in, too. Again.
bit of a dive behind us, but he couldn't get there. I tried. Good win, 12. Good race. Great drive. That's a podium. There's the flag. Hmm. It's over. Second again. Good win, Jack. Nice run. Solid work. Great race with you guys. Fun race. Yeah, it was fun. It was a fun race for sure. Alright. Oh, second again. Blah. That's fine. Yeah, he had figured out number 12. That's a very good good race for him. Congrats. We'll see uh, where everybody else finished, and we'll see uh, incidents as well. Maybe see what that 10 was up to. Oops, wrong direction. That's not a little bit. Let's see how bad the tires were. 73-77. So yes, I did abuse the, f the front tires more that time. In fact, I... Uh, it was worse on the rears, too. Actually, about the same, maybe, I think, last race. Interesting. Hmm. 377. Alright. Swung a little bit too far in the other direction. In terms of uh, saving the front. Front and the rear. Well, still gotta work on it. Here's the 10. Crashing in the first turn of the first lap. They did not have a good race, it would seem. Trying to get a little more practice. Oh no! And then 13, who also wrecked last race in the first lap. Looks like they overcooked it. Oh no. Oh my god, my internet! Crashing almost as bad as this guy. What is. I'm glad that didn't happen during the race. Jesus. Alright, well. Good thing I don't need internet to record. Uh, in terms of, like, replay. Um, so 13, unfortunately for him, crashes again on the first lap. We got some linkers. Ooh. That's rough. The guy in front got loose and he kind of made a reaction and it got him all out of sorts in the corner and got him into the wall. 10 continuing to have trouble. Have the track figured out yet, maybe. 16 in the wall. Some blinks. More wall. Ooh. Oh man, it's only lap 9. We've seen this guy a lot already. They look like they've never been to this track before. Not even in practice. The way they're like driving the corners and stuff. I would say like turns 3 and 4 are very tricky. Because it's so wide. It doesn't look like you have to hit the brakes as hard as you do. Have to. But you really gotta, you gotta slow it down. Uh, get loose. 19's been blinking, been blinking. Gotta, gotta slow down, man. It's like he's not learning. Mm, nine hard in the wall. It starts new to a lot of people. I mean, it's new to me. But, uh, lots of. And it's really easy to make plenty of mistakes. That's almost exactly what my hit looked like in the last race I did. I hit the wall about that hard in that corner. At a turn two. Like I said, we're all learning. <laughs> uh oh. David. Ah, that's nothing. Oh, this is after the race? Is it? Yeah, he's laps down. I didn't even realize that. He must have had to come pit after one of the wall hits or something. That stinks. Or not? I don't know. Actually, I don't know what the <laughs> deal with that was. Okay, 
through in the wall. Oh my god. Ten was an absolute weapon this race. So he's lapped down. He's lapsed down, I think. Hitting the wall about every corner. And now he's hitting the wall in the straightaway. You can't be you can't blame being new to the track for that one. And then he does the thing that do where you get stuck to the wall and you pull it off too hard and then the eight is the wrong spot at the wrong time this is why like if i see a guy in the wall like this obviously eight did nothing wrong but something i do whenever i see someone in the wall knowing that you know people pull it off like that i see that and i'm like pretending he's crashing essentially and i'm probably out here as soon as possible like, I don't assume he's not going to do it, you know? Even if it messes up my entry to the next corner. At least I don't end up like this, you know? Which, you know, it wasn't too bad. He kind of recovered pretty well. He ended up still finishing 8th. But that could have been so much worse. Blinking. Oh, yeah, this uh, 6 chasing us the whole race. Ooh, pushing it hard, trying to get to us. I thought for sure he was going to get us. I think uh, I was able to adjust a little bit. I was burning my tires up too much, and I think near, like later in the race, I was able to adjust a little bit and stop killing my tires as much. I think that helped me stay in front. What we're seeing here, and twelve at their win. Very well done. They uh, got out to a nice lead and I think from there they probably started saving tires a little bit and uh, they were able to do that enough to prevent me from catching up and I didn't do quite as good a job with saving tires this time maybe if I did maybe I would have uh, been able to claw back at them a little bit better like I did my first race here I almost got the win I was one corner away essentially this time I didn't save the tires as well and didn't have as much of a shot to track them down. But still, P2. Cannot be upset with that. Silver medal. And uh, another fun race at Motegi. I hope you enjoyed. I uh, think I'll go ahead and upload this one. This was a good one, I think. And, uh, well, I'll, uh, I'll see you next time. Appreciate it.